Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Statement of the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Western Armenia. No oppositional changes were recorded along the entire contact line after the events in Paruk, Information Headquarters of Artsakh. The Great March of Demands in Beirut, the Armenian community of Lebanon will hold memorial events on April 24. The population of Artsakh lives in a stressful situation today. Deputy of Western Armenia, Hakop Hakopian, woman artist of Western Armenia, endemic species of roses have appeared in Urfa, Western Armenia. On the day of St. Haritun, the Artsakh Diocese organizes a pilgrimage to the Divang. German professor Frederich Schulz reveals the van to the ancient descriptions of Moses Horinati about the Urartian kingdom. In memory of the victims of genocide of the Armenians committed by three successive Turkish governments of Western Armenia, we must always remember that the genocide committed against the Armenians is part of a wide range of colonization of Armenia and that dehumanization and destruction are parallel to this. For more than a century, the Armenian people have been subjected to a war of extermination. John George, using the terminology War of Extermination, understood the full scope of misfortune that happened with the Armenian people. In the future, the terminology genocide was fixed in international law and a sad fate of Armenian's people was to be the starting point. Read the full article on our official website. Azerbaijani troops continued to remain in a part of Karagaluk, but their advance was stopped on March 24-25 as a result of the actions of the Armenian Defense Army units. This was stated by the information headquarters of Artsakh. At the same time, the Azerbaijani side periodically spreads misinformation about new invasions in various directions, the last of which concerns some villages of Martakert. The reality is that such statements are completely false and no positional changes were recorded along the entire contact line after the above mentioned events in Paruk and Karagaluk were due to follow only the official news and not to believe the Azerbaijan disinformation, the statement reads. In Lebanon, despite the difficulties caused by the economic crisis, the local Western Armenian community will march with a large national process on April 24, the day of genocide of Armenians' remembrance. In the April messages, Lebanon's of Armenians will not only remember the victims of genocide of Armenians, not only emphasize Turkey's denial policy, not only will the demands be touched upon, but also the issues of Azerbaijan's encroachments on the Armenians of Artsakh will be voiced. On Western Armenia TV, Hakop Hakopian presented the events taking place in Artsakh, noting that they are happening so quickly that society has not yet solved one problem, it turns out to be the second problem. The problem began on a humanitarian catastrophe when gas was turned off in early March and then the cases of Paruch and Karagaluk continued, referring to five-point peace agreement presented by Armenia and Azerbaijan, noting that security and protection of the right to live in their native land are important for every resident of Artsakh. At the same time, it should be noted that numerous statements are being made in Armenia, which are perceived very sharply and painfully in Artsakh. In conclusion, Mr. Hakopian denied rumors that a collection of signatures for inclusion in Russia has begun in Artsakh. Activist and researcher Cassandra Tavukchan writes, Armenian Woman Artist is an educational and historical Instagram page, the purpose of which is to inform and recognize Armenian women artists. It's not surprising that given the geopolitical area of Western Armenia and the genocide committed against Armenians, and after that the women I present, they come from different parts of the world. Today, perhaps more than ever, Armenians around the world feel a sense of cynicism and desperation when it comes to preserving our cultural identity. However, despite the constant tragedies and stress we face, sometimes we need reminders of how far we have come and the potential within us to preserve and succeed, as our ancestors did before us. In the world, only the black rose growing in Halfet province in Urfa country of Western Armenia, which takes its special look and smell from motherland, began to bloom with the arrival of spring. Halfet included by the International Coordinating Community of Tsitaslo in 2013 in the network of quiet cities, is described as a hidden paradise of Western Armenia with its historical stone houses and natural beauties. Halfet, because of Berejik Reservia, looked like a seaside city, which is also a great interest because of houses and historical buildings buildings that have passed under water. One of the important symbols of the province, the black rose, growing all in half-fed, blooms every year in the late April, early May. 
On April 17, the Lyric Center Harutun, the Artsakh Diocese, organizes a pilgrimage to the Divang. This is reported by the Price Nurses Asadian, spiritual pastor of the Church of St. Astvazadzin in Stepanakert. Long awaited news for our believers. St. Harutun, the Artsakh Diocese, organizes a pilgrimage to the Divang. Those who wish to take part should register with candle sellers in one of the two churches of Stepanakert as soon as possible, wrote Price Nurses Asadian. German professor Friedrich Schultz discovered ancient cuneiform inscription described by Moses Cholinati, who copies them and heads to Paris to investigate them. On their way with his two officers, the Kurdish gangs are attacked. However, once copied protocols arrived in the safety of Paris and in 1840 were published. According to Cholinati, Armenia was founded in 2492 BC. This information also replied as a reliable source in New York Times in 2015 in a scientific article. The 5th century historian of Sashornati wrote that his homeland was founded in 2492 BC, which seems mystical. Also, he claims that he went to Babylon and studied ancient records. His analysis suggests that his date is quite probable. The New York Times wrote, Cholinati also noted that Greek translators of the Van Protocols have managed to preserve some of them for future generations. Now musical part Armenian folk song and symbol of song and dance after Tatul Altunyan, Kochari. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.